Hi, and welcome to Gardening Tips with Phil. Well, for quite a few years now, I have actually been running this garden without a wheelbarrow. And last week I decided to make the uh, splurge and bought myself a wheelbarrow from a big box store. Now, I could have bought a fully assembled one for about the uh, size I got for between $140 or $150 Australian. This one um, is a disassembled one. So uh, yeah, it only cost me about $55 Australian. So, you know, why pay 90 odd dollars for the assembly when it only takes you about 20 or 30 minutes? Anyway, I'll get the parts out and we'll get going. I'll be back in a minute. So, if you've ever tried to um, do gardening without a wheelbarrow, you know what a pain it is. It's like gardening without a shovel or a, you know, a fork or something like that. You've got to do all the heavy moving by, well, buy everything in bag. At least with this now, I can have uh, dirt and stuff uh, dumped off in the front there and I can just wheel, wheelbarrow it around. Anyway, so we've got all the items. So we've got item one of three. Two of three, that says three of three, that says two, so all three boxes are here. So let's get started. It tells you what's in there. Wedge, nose guard, leg, leg brace, axle, leg tray. Anyway, what we'll do, we'll have a look at the instructions and uh, see what tools we need. Just get it open. The old very handy Swiss Army knife, stuff like this, and here they are, there's the instructions, doesn't come with tools, that price I wouldn't expect it to, wheel needs inflating, but that's easy done. So oh, let's see, tools required, okay, 13 half inch or adjustable wrench, well I've got a half inch there so I'll use that, um, and that's about it flathead screwdriver so really straightforward I think we'll be able to get uh, onto this without a problem so let's take everything out I will have to look at the instructions that's definitely the end legs I will have to look at the instructions again that's definitely the axle and that's the base All right. All right, now let's get the tools. All right, okay, so I've got the tools at last. Um, so what we might do is we will assemble the front section or the back section. So we need a picture speaks a thousand words. Giving myself a bit of a hard time here. So what I want to do now is I want to be able to put it upside down. There's got to be an easier way, and I think I have it. All right. Okay, let's reshoot this. Okay, now a good portion of this is uh, going to be edited. I've buggerized about. Uh, too long, so I've got myself a couple of saw horses to work on. Might be a bit easier, but I've figured out which bolts go where now, so yes, up on a saw horse would be a lot easier. The way I can hold it from underneath, and yeah. So I'll set up the saw horses, adjust the camera. Okay, now we've got these set up, so lift this up oh. first time I've actually ever assembled one of these so good is that one done Get it off here. Yep, 
Yeah, so there's the wheelbarrow all assembled. Uh, took me a bit longer than I uh, expected, but uh, yeah, it'll make life a lot easier around here now. So, particularly carting dirt, and soil, and other bits and pieces around. So, I just got to pump the tyre up, and uh, yeah, I'll borrow an air compressor for that. And yeah, so if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And uh, yeah, if you want to see more uh, in the future, just hit the subscribe button below. Anyway, thank you for watching Gardening Tips with Phil, and we'll see you in the next video. Okay, bye.